Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can record audio in Python. So let's get right into it. Firstly, you need to make sure you have Pi Audio and Keyboard installed. So you can either do pip install keyboard and pip install Pi Audio, or if you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your Python environment, go to manage Python packages, and type in Pi Audio, then click on pip install Pi Audio, and then you can type in keyboard, and then click on pip install keyboard here. I strongly recommend you use Python 3.9 or whatever the latest version is when you're watching this tutorial. So firstly, at the top of our code, we're going to do import Pi Audio, import wave, import keyboard, and import time. Pi Audio allows us to work with audio in Python and it's going to be used to record audio from our microphone. The wave module is used to save data in the WAV file format. The keyboard library detects keyboard events like pressing the spacebar, and time is used for adding delays in the Python program. Then we're going to do format equals pi audio dot pay int 16, channels equals 1, rate equals 44,100, chunk equals 1,024, and output underscore file name, whatever you want your WAV file to be called. These are going to be some audio parameters for the WAV file that's going to store our recording. So the first one we're going to be using 16-bit PCM format. Channels is the number of audio channels. We're going to do mono audio, so we're going to stick with one. Then we've got our sample rate, which is going to be 44,100. Chunk is going to be how many frames are in the buffer. And then obviously we got the file name for where we want to put the audio. After that, we're going to do audio equals pi audio dot pi audio. And then we could do stream equals audio dot open, format equals format, channels equals channels, rate equals rate, input equals true, and frames per buffer equals chunk. So here we're going to be initializing pi audio and opening the stream. So this line here, just creates the Pi Audio object, and this line here opens a new audio stream and is configured with the parameters we defined here. Next, we're going to do frames equals empty array, print press space to start recording, keyboard dot wait space, print recording, press space to stop, and then time.sleep 0.2. So here we're going to be starting the recording process, and you'll see how we do the actual recording in a second, but basically, this is going to be our array slash list that's going to store all of our audio chunks. Here we're basically going to be waiting for the user to press space before we start recording. And with the time.sleep, basically, if we don't include this, when we hit space, all of our keyboards.waits for space will be triggered. So we'll start recording, but then stop recording instantly. And a really quick way to get around this is to just have a little time.sleep. Obviously in your Python program, you might want to do something different, but to demonstrate how to record audio, I'm going to do time.sleep 0.2. Next up, we are going to do our recording loop. So we're going to do while true, then we're going to do try. Data equals stream.reads chunk, frames.append data, and then we could do an exception, keyboard interrupt, break. And then we can do if keyboard.is press space, print stopping recording after a brief delay, and then we can do time.sleep 0.2 and then break. The while true loop keeps running continuously to record audio. Data equals stream.reads chunk reads audio from the stream, and then we can do frames.append data to add the data to the frames list. Our except keyboard interrupt allows stopping the loop with control C, which is optional but something handy in case your space key stops working. And then we can do break, which will exit this loop. And then we've got if keyboards.is press space. I'm going to check if the space bar is pressed again to stop recording. And then we can do another time.sleep 0.2 to avoid detecting multiple space presses immediately. After the while loop, we're going to do stream.stop stream. So after the while loop, we're going to do stream.stop underscore stream. Then we can do stream.close and audio.terminate. And these three lines of code just stop the stream, close it, and then get rid of the Pi Audio object. And this ends the audio recording session. After that, we've got quite a few lines of code to write a web file. This will be in the description below for you to copy and paste, by the way, if you don't want to type it all out. But we're going to do web file equals web.open output underscore file name wb. Web file dot set channels channels web file dot set sample width audio dot get sample size format web file dot set frame rate rate web file dot write frames b two apostrophes dot join frames and then web file dot close. So we're going to be 
saving our audio to the WAV file. So this here will open our WAV file in write bytes mode because we're going to be writing the bytes containing our audio to this file. And we pass in our file path that we defined up here. We're going to set the channels of the WAV file to be the channels. We're going to set the amp width to be our format here. So PCM 16 bit. We're going to set the the frame rate to be our rate, which we also defined before. And then we do wavfile.writeframesb.joinframes. This is going to write all recorded frames to the file. And then we can do wavfile.close to close the wav file because we finished writing to it. So that's it for recording audio in Python. So save your work. Make sure you've got all the appropriate pip installs done. Now let's hit play. So it says hit space to start recording. I'm going to talk for a little bit to prove that it's not recording already. Now let's hit space. Now it says recording, press place to stop. Press space to stop, I was meant to say. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You should totally subscribe if you found it useful. Now we're going to hit the space key. And it says stopped recording. And then it closed before we had a chance to read the message. You could do another time.sleep or another keyboard.wait if you wanted to. But let's check out the web file. If you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project and go to open folder in File Explorer. And since we're using a file path, which is just the file name, it will be saved right next to our Python file. Make sure you get the file path correct for your project. Now let's open it up. Now it says recording, press place to stop. Press space to stop, I was meant to say. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You should totally subscribe if you found it useful. Now we're going to hit the space key. And as you can hear, it worked. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.